the, the arm bar, we want his arm out here. We have to make him put his arm out there. But unless, you know, you're super strong like me and you can grab his arm and pull it across, then it works. It works. But if you don't have these guns, and Ed doesn't, that ain't going to happen. As soon as you touch the guy's arm, <coughs> he's going to go here. Or, well, no, he's going he's to go here. You know, it's not even real great defense here. He could do a lot of things better for defense. But he's here. So, with that in mind, you know, what happens, though, if he puts his hand up in here? What does his hand do? Right here, right? So, look where my arm is. It's here. Why do I have to hold this hand? Because he needs that hand to finish the choke. Exactly. So with that in mind, knowing that he, you know, this, I gotta go here, and, and I'll tuck my arm. We're gonna do a setup here. Bro, this bum here. So I'm gonna trick him. I'm gonna grab his hand, two hands, and start pulling. What's he gonna do? Tuck his arm down real low. Look what he gives me. As soon as he does that, look where my hand goes. Look what his arm did. It's extended. Cup it, bring it to the center, and I'm gonna put my thumb in the back of his gi and hold his head down. Now he can't lift his head. Now I'm gonna start kicking. And this hand comes around and pushes, and right there's my armor. I didn't even touch his hip. Don't even touch his hip. Just start kicking. Not like Ed's kicks, like he does in his class, not those, the real kicks. So, you wanna fake this guy, start pulling it. He pulls his arm down, but then he gives you his neck. And don't leave your arm here, because look where his arm is. I'm going to immediately put my hand up here, because if he don't block my hand, I'm going to come choke. So he reaches up there, cup, thumb in, hold his head down. Make posture. And I start kicking. Now I'm here, push the face. There's your arm bar. And this leg, when I'm kicking, it's sliding up to where it needed to be up on his back anyway. And then that thumb, just bring your hand around and push his face. I'll go real slow. So I want, I want him to extend his arm. I grab his arm. Right here. And now I'm going to start kicking. Bring my leg up. Push his face. I'm right into the armor. Give it a shot. Break that guy. You gotta attack this arm and make him bend it down. When he brings it down, he gives you his neck. And immediately hide here, I want him to extend his arm. When they catch here, you're just not gonna pull his arm across. Keep your legs locked. Use your hips and get his arm across. And grab over here by his ear. Like you're going to give him a wet willy, watch. <laughs> now when I start kicking, my hips go the way I'm kicking. I can relock my legs here. And then my hand's going to stay in the collar until it comes around and pushes. And then I'm going to start climbing for the arm. Don't worry when you're training about that part. Worry about getting here. It's easy to do that part.